All right, Mike here with Reaper Equipment. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, do a normal cleaning on your uh, pretty much any model with the DX7 printhead. The process is gonna be the same, whether it's the, the uh, RF, the XR, the VS, the VSI, no matter which uh, system, if you're utilizing the DX7 printhead, it's gonna be the same process. So we're gonna go here to menu, and we're gonna scroll down to submenu. Then I'm gonna hit up to maintenance. Uh, so I'm gonna go here to maintenance. I'm just gonna hit enter now that we're gonna do a cleaning. And it's gonna ask me to open cover L, which is the left cover. So I'm gonna go down here to cover L. And I'm gonna remove these two thumb screws. Pop that off. And this is gonna be vital. You can see up here these uh, stains. Someone has used uh, uh, solvent cleaner on these covers. And you never wanna use this cleaning solution on your covers period any kind of plastic it will discolor it will eat it will be a bad thing so keep the cleaner away from the covers i see this fall too often all right so now i'm also going to remove this cut strip right here this is your cut guide make sure that you uh replace this or your sheet cut will not work if you don't put this back on your sheet cut will not work so we're just gonna pull that off there as well. Open this area. Go back down to this end. It says remove cut rail, which I just did. There you go. So I'm gonna press enter. It's telling me now to close cover L. So I'm just gonna take a cleaning swab and I'm gonna stick it in that sensor. That's the sensor for the machine. I'm just gonna stick it in there so it thinks it's closed so I don't have to put the cover back on. All right, so now you can see the carriage is moving over that way. So it's over in this area. Now I'm going to uh, open this front cover as well. Take this one off. Uh, and right now I have a little bottle of cleaner. Uh, this process you can use, use the cheap cleaner. Uh, this won't hurt anything if you're using a little cheap uh, solvent cleaner. Make sure it's not water-based. And we got us a good old cleaning swab. You can order these things off Amazon, eBay, pretty much anywhere. So I'm just going to put a little solution on there. And I have my bottle on a paper towel because this can cause stains to the to the metal. So I don't want to make any messes. So I've got a paper towel there. So what I'm gonna do first? Let me go ahead and uh, zoom in and turn the flash on. Uh, so what I want to do is pay attention to the edges of this cap top. I just want to clean these down, make sure there's no buildup on the cap top whatsoever. Very important. They call these cap tops because they're really no different than a uh, pin top you put it on there to uh, keep the ink from drying on on your ink pen and it's pretty much the same thing So we just want to focus on the Edges make sure no ink build up and then we're going to take and come down here to the other end And we're going to clean the perimeter of the print All right, so you see the print head right there. Let's see if I can hold the camera and do this. We just want to Make sure there's no build up on edges. That's all we want to do. We do not want to push or do anything to the surface of this printhead right here. We do not want to smear it and try to clean the, the surface. That's bad. It'll push uh, particles into the printhead, to the nozzle orifice, and we do not want that. So we're just going to clean the edges, make sure that there is no buildup around there. Good idea just to clean up around here, make sure no fuzz uh, or anything on the head carriage. Sorry, hard to do this while the camera, but there we go. Looks good to me. So then I'm just gonna come back over here and tell them, hey, we're done. That's all I need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the flash off. I'm just gonna say it's finished. I'm gonna hit the enter button all right here. There we go. It's gonna ask me to close cover L, which I can now do so. Uh, I actually, so I don't have to do it twice. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a, put the foam swab in the, oh, did I get them the right way? No. What's it telling me? Now it's telling me to close cover R, so I'm gonna have to put something in it and I'm not prepared. I got something in my pocket, I guess, so I'm gonna go ahead and bypass this sensor as well. Put a little screwdriver in there. There we go. So now it's gonna go back to its home position. Now it's telling me to close cover rail pretty much to the end of this process. Make sure that you put the cut rail back on and close up the covers and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.